Okay, welcome back to the Techmoto channel and the next video in the series of the Iron Man robot build. Um, so we've decided to move away from metal for the main chassis of the robot. Several reasons for that. Firstly, the metal that I was using was from tin cans, which I thought would be fine, but the tin can metal wasn't as good quality and so it just wouldn't flow around the mold. So I've decided that I'm going to make the robot out of plastic. I'm going to 3D print a lot of the parts um, and I'm going to still use the metal parts but for smaller mechanical parts inside. And so um, we have 3D printed the helmet and the faceplate. Uh, it's yellow at the moment because I've put some primer putty on there. Still needs a lot of work, um, a lot of touching up to make it look nice. But we've got the faceplate We've got the, uh, the helmet. You can see the join lines here because my 3D printer is quite small. So I had to print it in four parts. I've added in a servo control here on the inside. So it will go up and down and backwards and forwards. And then I've printed the neck piece here as well and mounted it all together. Um, I've also got these groovy gadgets which um, will go inside the eyes. So if I just flick that on. There's an LED in the right hand side here and the plastic, I don't know if you can see there, but it's got lots of little dots on it. So as the light is cast across this piece of plastic, it catches on the dots on the sides. And then if we take the mask front of the face, I can't really do this with one hand, but you can see how that's gonna glow blue. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the LEDs in these for tri-colors so we can program in different colors. So we'll have red, green, and blue. Um, next thing to do, I've got these speakers um, and I've got uh, an amplifier that I ripped out of something else and we're going to mount the speakers into this panel here on the side. So we're going to cut a hole in here, uh, we're going to laser cut a panel that goes in here and then we're going to mount these speakers inside. So, uh, so that's the next thing to do. Okay, so we've laser cut those parts and we've just mounted those inside there so that the speakers will fit absolutely perfectly just inside here like this. So they'll just slide in on the inside. Now obviously there's no hole on the outside here. So we've made these, so two layers glued together and they will go on the outside there like that. And when they're painted, they'll look like they're part of the helmet. And then we've got this grill that came off the amplifier that I stripped for the parts for the speaker. So we're going to cut this grill so we can fit it inside there. So when it's all painted up, it'll look nice. OK, so now we're drilling the holes out in the ear so that our grills can go over the top of the holes. So the speakers are going the inside and then we're going to drill these holes. This is just a template so I can get them in the right place. And then the grill would go over the top of the holes to let the sound out. So looks pretty good. OK, so the speakers are in. We've got the guards on the outside here, which look pretty cool. Follow the contour of the Iron Man helmet. And then on the inside, we have both speakers, not wired in yet, but on plates facing those holes and the other side the guard as well so that's pretty cool it also balances out the, the head as well because the speakers are in the middle so it makes it more balanced which is great okay so now the ears are on and the speakers are on uh, what we're doing is we are sanding down uh, the exterior so we've sprayed it with um, filler putty which is a spray paint um, it's a bit thicker than normal spray paint but it fills all of the uh, the grooves in the 3D print and then you sand it back so that the high spots are actually the plastic and the low spots are, the, are built up with the, uh, the putty primer and then you just keep spraying it with putty primer, keep sanding it, keep spraying it, keep sanding it until you get a nice smooth finish and then it's ready for paint. Okay, so we've got the, uh, the mask to a nice finish 
So now what we want to do is just see what it looks like painted. Um, there's still a little bit of finishing to do, but I want to have a practice with this. So I've just got this new air gun, which is pretty cool. And it's got a, um, a compressor and you sort of hit this button and it sprays. And I've also ordered these um, metal colored paints. So we're going to give that a go. Okay, so we've been sanding and painting and sanding and painting and sanding and painting and filling holes and messing about trying to get this really really smooth and I think I'm there which is great you can see there's lots of little imperfections that have been filled with car body filler um, so we're gonna get the airbrush and we're gonna spray this up and finish it off Okay, so we've got the sound hooked up. Um, I've wired up the amplifier and we're gonna have a go using Amazon Poly. Okay, this is the first test of the sound coming through the Iron Man helmet. Does this sound okay? Sounds pretty good to me. So whilst I'm working on Iron Man in the cabin, it is absolutely caning it down outside. Okay, so we've got them all wired up, got the umbilical going to my control boards and he's moving on his own. So he needs a little bit more paint work obviously and um, I need to work on his movements so, so it doesn't seem so jerky. But just as a, a test to see how he's working. So he's wired up to the control board here. Um, this Arduino is controlling the head and I've just got a very simple two servo um, and his eyes um, on the program and that's programmed in Arduino which you probably can't see. Um, so what we can also do is make him talk so just to get a feel of what he's going to be like. Hi there my name is Jarvis it would appear that my systems are functional. So um, we're all good all we need to do now is program in loads of different head movements that we can call upon as and when we need to from the Python code. So when we make him say a certain thing like, yes, sir, you might nod. Um, we might randomize it so he comes up with different gestures uh, depending on whichever one it lands on. Um, but that's all good. All done.
Okay, so we're going to call an end to the video there. In the next video, we'll be looking at gestures, and we're programming loads of gestures, so nodding, shaking his head, thinking, things like that. And then we'll call upon that from the Python code that is Jarvis. And I've just put a link at the top of the screen there for the, uh, the tutorials on how to make Jarvis in the software in Python. Um, but we'll leave it there. See you in the next one. Thanks.